Eloise Mumford plays Kate Cavanaugh in the literary phenomenon turned blockbuster Fifty Shades of Grey. As the best friend of Anastasia, she's the last person to see her leave and the first person to see her come home after her risky encounters with Christian Grey. Have a look at how Dakota Johnson describes her co-star on and off the set. She is so beautiful and so powerful in the way that she works, and she, like, can punch it up or dial it down, no problem. And everybody talking, laughing, and enjoying themselves? <laughs> yeah! All right. This She's really talented. She's a trained actor, <laughs> unlike me, <laughs> who's, like, just this guy messing around over here. I'm gonna pee. <laughs> I gotta pee. What? I have to pee! <laughs> and Eloise Mumford joins us now. Good morning. Hi, good morning. I feel like I was an early adopter with these books. <laughs> Bless me. But I was like, were you? I was still like ashamed to be right, reading it on a plane. Not sure if I should, could be yeah. showing that. Right. Did you read them originally, or was it? Or did you wait until you were cast? I read the first one when I was auditioning, um, and uh, and very proudly was uh, <laughs> carrying yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I actually finished it while I was getting my oil changed um, appropriately, and I so I like set it down on the counter as I was paying for the oil change, and the woman was like. Her face, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, it's a great book. Um, and then I read the second two um, in between uh, getting cast and starting to shoot the movie. Now, I read it as well, and I remember when they announced that there was going to be a movie, both you and I said, How are they going to turn that into a movie? I mean, were you feeling the same way as you were reading it? Like, what, how are we? Yeah, I mean, I was mostly feeling really excited. I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge opportunity to be yeah. part of something that's such a global phenomenon. And, and um, when I read it, I knew they were already making the film, mm -hmm. and I already knew that Dakota and Jamie were both cast. So as I was reading it, I was imagining them, and, and of course, yeah. imagining me as Kate. And, um, and so, so, yeah, I mean, I was just, I was thrilled to be, you know, it's, it's really rare to have something that hits globally so, so huge. Now, this movie is a very... Shall we say sexy movie? Can we say that? <laughs> Did you have any awkward moments on set? You know, I think I kind of lucked out not having very many <laughs> awkward yeah. moments. Um, but you know, it it mostly was just really fun. We, you know, we we there was a lot of laughter. There was a lot of joking around, as you can probably tell in the behind the scenes. There's a lot of behind the scenes on the DVD. So I think people will be happy to see like how much we were really breaking it with laughter. Did you were you on set when Dakota would do the scenes with you know, Christian Grey? <laughs> I mean, or was it or was it <laughs> you know like yeah, encouraging her? Hey, go 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 go! go. Got it. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, I was. I wasn't. I mean, they. I wasn't there when they were shooting all the red room stuff and right. stuff like that. Um, but uh, but I was, you know, around for a lot of the a lot of the other stuff. And and it was just it was a blast. I can't wait to start shooting the next two. So w was there a lot of secrecy when you got the role? I mean, were because I mean the movie. If when it came down to the casting, to where it was being shot, how yeah. scenes were going to be approached, like it was lock and key. Oh yeah, there was even a code name. Like everything, the movie was called something else You're on like all the paperwork. Totally like a spy. <laughs> you had to like get a hoodie <laughs> coming on in. But so were you? even allowed to tell anyone because I mean I imagine if you got the role you'd be like I want to tell everyone. exactly no I wasn't allowed to tell anybody until they announced it in the press I mean I told my family but I was like don't tell anybody <laughs> um, and then even some of my best friends didn't know I felt so bad because they found out well, you know I, I could tell them when when they announced yeah. it and they were like why did you tell me <laughs> uh, but yeah there was a lot of secrecy which which just heightened the excitement that much more I'm trying to visualize like as now a mother having my daughter going I got the biggest role yeah, you're like that's amazing yeah. it's like it's 50 shades <laughs> Awesome. What? Uh, <laughs> did we go together? Did you, like, did, you, did you watch it with your family? I, have a, I watched it with my little brother, actually. Oh, I mean, really? you know, it's... Once again, I just feel so lucky to be part of it, and I think my family... It's really hard to be an actor. It takes a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, time and hard work to, like to break into getting any sort of anything. And so to have something this huge, my family was just really excited for me and 100% and, and supportive. That's wonderful. Yeah. So interesting the way it all came to be, isn't it? With E.L. James and the fan fiction, and then the yeah. next thing you know that it becomes like a mainstream fiction. Yeah. And now this huge movie. The, the next one doesn't come out till 2017, they've announced, and your role gets a bit bigger, at least according to the books. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's also it's also secretive. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't really say much like... about it, but but um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just I can't wait to get back on set. And I always said to um, E.L. James on set, I was like, isn't it amazing that like this you thought of all this and now here we are like making this massive movie and you know everyone around the world knows about it. So that yeah, it's pretty exciting. Now, Eloise, there's so much discussion in the press surrounding this movie and the books, whether or not it's degrading or empowering for women. What yeah. do you think? I think that it's a really important film to start raising that sort of discussion about, you know, it's about time to make movies that are written by women, 
directed by women, for women, um, and, and I'm a huge proponent of that. We need to start talking about these issues. We need to, no one's saying this is the sort of relationship you should be in. It's a love story, you know, it's a fantasy. And, um, and, and it, it's raising a topic of conversation that's, that's really important, and so I'm really proud to be, to be in it. You know, just to have all these questions being asked and to have all these conversations being started. Back to what you were saying about E.L. James and, and the idea that, you know, from this little idea she had and then it springs into this gargantuan thing, was she still taking it in as well, like now that you're all on set? Yeah, I think it's all pretty, it's all pretty overwhelming for all of us, this sort of response, and, and it's, it's really surreal. I mean, on set, you know, there would, even though it was so undercover, there would be days where there was paparazzi everywhere and fans everywhere, and, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think that we all are like, whoa, this is huge, yeah. and, and, and how awesome to be part of it. Tell well, us a little bit about the <laughs> cast chemistry. Yeah, uh, we all got along really well. I mean, it was, it was a blast. It, you know, because there was so much sort of, like, intimate stuff, mm -hmm. there was a lot of, there's just a lot of laughter. We all, you know, it was very bonding because because there was so much pressure to get it right um, that we all were working incredibly hard and, and then having a great time, you know. What surprised we you the most about the fan base? Because I feel that back then when Liza started reading it, she was just kind of like, oh, yeah. I'm reading this book. I was and then, mega hiding and it. I was going on vacation. I'm I, like, I took a polar right here. I'm like, can I take this yeah. on a plane? But right. then I feel like the stigma <laughs> has kind of dropped a bit because yeah. of the movie. I mean, I walked in the theater. I'm like, Fifty Shades of Grey, please yeah. sign me up. But what has surprised you the most about the fan base? Like in meeting the fans, doing the premieres? Just I've just been blown away by how supportive they are and like how... I don't know how excited everybody is about it. I mean, it's it it's such a global thing too. I guess that's what surprised me too. I mean, there's a huge amount of fans in Germany. I mean, obviously Canada, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. and yeah, and um, you know South America. And so it's been really it's been it's been just exhilarating to have that sort of support and have that sort of fan base, you know, globally. I hope it has been empowering to women. The idea that you can kind of own your fantasies and own, yeah. you know, your own sexuality. It's a good thing. I think so. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just about time that women can yeah. have something that's for them and that's, that t is talking about what, what is sexy to them. Yep, and actually made the studio some money. Actress Eloise Mumford in Fifty Shades of Grey is available this Friday on Blu-ray. Fifty Shades Darker is scheduled for release February 2017. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.